these are live pictures coming in right now from Goa as uh, we see that the location of uh, Miramar Beach in Goa is being readied right now to receive uh, the mortal remains of Manohar Parikar uh, where he will wear the final journey and the last rites uh, will take place as we can see people uh, have walked to be there and uh, they're now waiting for that procession to arrive in fact, uh, joining us right now, Mayuresh, uh, who's at Goa, uh, tracking, uh, you know, the movements politically and, of course, uh, the, the last rites, Mayuresh, right there. Go ahead, Mayuresh. Um, what can you tell us about what's happening in Goa at this point? Uh, certainly, we are at a Miramar beach and behind me you can see the special arrangement which has been made by our state government for the cremation. Uh, this is the same place where Goa's first CM, Bhausab Bandodkar, when he was a CM, he died and he was cremated uh, and he was a very uh, high respected person because he was a first CM of Goa and very well known politician and very great leader he was. So, uh, his, uh, uh, we can say that his memorial is just next to where the final uh, uh, the arrangements for the final rites of uh, uh, Manor Parikar have been made. So you can see that a lot of people are, are still walking from Kala uh, Academy towards this. It's kind of a four and a half kilometer stretch. Uh, security has been beefed up. No one is allowed to go inside except uh, the relatives, the close relatives, friends and uh, VVIP. So uh, the family wants to keep it as a very, we can say, a personal matter or a very personal thing. And that's why uh, you can see the police, the Goa police personnel are here uh, uh, with the rapid action force. So certainly the, uh, the security has been uh, beefed up over here and they are not allowing any normal person to go inside and they have to they are identifying the person they are identifying a single individual and then only they are allowing to go inside well mayuresh from the visuals that we could see of the procession that has uh, left the uh, you know uh, is headed to the beach right now that there are a lot of people who are walking alongside so from what you're telling us those people will not be allowed into uh, you know the beach for the last rites Uh, yeah, uh, because police have made uh, that particular arrangement. They are only allowing the top leaders, uh, the family members, the friends, the close associate, and uh, they are not allowing uh, a common people to go inside because the place inside is very small, and there could be a, 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 they don't want to create any kind of situation over there. Uh, that's why they are stopping all the people over here, respecting their feelings, respecting their sentiments. They are requesting them to stop or just stay here and not to go beyond this particular line. You can see that uh, the police people have uh, created a kind of a, a, a file over here and they are stopping everyone over here after identifying them then they are only allowing you can see that the uh, how they are uh, stopping people and they are identifying them and after identification only they are allowing them to go inside in fact uh, Mayuresh tell me this we understand and we saw from the visuals that uh, uh, Mr. Abit Shah is already there he's seated inside uh, at at the premises in the location, uh, who are the other big leaders who've flown in from Delhi today? Uh, 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 we have just come over here, and I what I saw that I saw uh, uh, MOS defense uh, Subhash Bhamri. He was there uh, along with a few Maharashtra leaders, Vinod Tavade, who is a cabinet minister in Devendra Fadnavis government. Even Mumbai uh, BJP president Ashish Shilar we saw. So these are the only people we, I saw right now. But uh, we have been given to understand that the other VIPs have already gone in. And if you can see in the visuals that uh, the truck, the army truck, which, which is carrying mortal remains of uh, CM Manohar Parrikar, is now moving towards uh, crematorium. And this is the, this is the uh, final journey. Uh, and every, uh, at both sides of the road, you can see only people, people and Goans. And they just are there, they are here to pay the last respect to their beloved CM. You can see with the police, DG, uh, police uh, rank, SPP uh, are here. And this is the truck. And see, the, uh, the uh, way I was talking about the crowd has been party workers, but to stay behind. How many ordinary people, how many ordinary citizens have come there to pay their final respects, Mayrish? Oh. It is, it, it, you, can't, you cannot even count, that's, that's what I'm trying to say, Faye. It's like both the sides of road are full of 
uh, crowd, uh, normal people, the citizens are special. You can see, but police have asked them to just stay away from this particular uh, crematorium. Uh, they have stopped them, asking them that there is no enough space inside uh, to go and attain the funeral. And they are respecting their feelings towards the CM Parikar. You can see this is a truck uh, which is carrying mortal remains of Manor Parikar. His family members are already there uh, on this truck and now they are moving towards the crematorium. Well, uh, the final journey there of Manohar Parikar uh, and our uh, reporter Man, uh, uh, Mayuresh bringing us uh, that uh, that report. But Mayuresh, stay with us. Arvind thinks he is with us. He is a senior journalist as well. Mr. Thanks, thank you, thank you for staying with us. So is Mr. Vinod Sharma. Mr. Thanks, for uh, obviously the people of Goa, the ordinary citizens of Goa, uh, this is a man uh, they felt very close to also because. He, in a lot of ways, sort of epitomized the Goa lifestyle in the manner, in the way he dressed, in the way he conducted his business, the way he conducted uh, his politics as well. <coughs> so mainly, mainly, thing, mainly what has happened is uh, after the first um, uh, chief minister of Goa, that is uh, Mr. Dhanan uh, Bandurkar, who actually played, uh, laid the foundation of education system in Goa, from primary, from after the liberation of Goa, there were practically there were no schools. So, so he was the person who, in spite of being uh, slightly less educated, his aim was to take the education to entire villages in the nook and corner of Goa. The same way, and he took all the communities together. The same way, Manohar Padikar also, while making any development, he took all the people together of all castes and all creeds. The major infrastructure uh, that has come up in Goa now is after Manohar Padikar becoming the chief minister earlier. Earlier, when Mr. Um, uh, Dayanand Bandurkar was uh, the chief minister in Goa, he brought in big factories like uh, uh, Zwadi Agrochemicals, MRF, SIBA, where, which generated employment, employment for the Goans. And uh, after that, there were practically no big uh, industries or big uh, units had come to Goa. It was only after Manur Padikar became the chief minister, uh, the new infrastructure started uh, coming up. Uh, even regarding the um, uh, air, the lone airport, which is in the hands of Navy in Goa, there were speculations that if uh, new airport was coming up at Mopa, then this uh, airport would be closed down. It is Manohar Padikar uh, who got, uh, convinced the center, and the center declared that even after coming up of uh, Mopa, the new airport, the old airport, will not be closed down for civilians, which created which created a confidence in general public of uh, all castes and religions about Manohar Parikar. And that is why he was, wherever he went, he was greeted from uh, children to the eldest. He was greeted uh, very well. In fact, uh, we, you know, Mr. Arvind thinks he was one of the uh, the chief ministers. He stood his ground when all of the other BJP-led or BJP-ruled states were banning beef, for example. He said very clearly, that's not Goa. Goa doesn't believe in that sort of thing. We're a very diverse state. We're going to continue to remain a diverse state. And I do remember he received a great deal of appreciation across across the state, across uh, various religions for taking that stand. Is that not true? Yes, that is very true. Uh, he was always saying that uh, he, he had an opinion. He, his opinion was that uh, you cannot control anybody what he eats. Eating is is a person personal habit and it person's choice. It's each person's choice, and it cannot be controlled. And uh, one more thing, I would like to tell you that uh, even uh, he was sick. Uh, there is a major problem here in Margaon constituency, which is which is represented by the ex chief minister, that is uh, um, Zigambar Kamat. There is a big problem regarding the uh, crematorium, the, regarding a kabrastan for the Muslims. Even uh, land was identif identified, but there was a lot of opposition for that. It was Manohar Padikar who had assured the Muslim community here in Margaon and Patoda constituency that uh, a proper uh, Kabristan place would be given. And just just 15 days back, he sanctioned an uh, amount of around 16 crores. And he had told uh, Vijay, his uh, minister Vijay Sardesai to identify land. Accordingly, a land of 20,000 20, square meters was identified. And already he had sanctioned an amount of 16 crores to develop a Kabristan for the Muslims. Absolutely. Uh, uh, Mr. Vinod Sharma is with us as well, political editor of the Hindustan Times. Mr. Sharma, uh, uh, it's obviously uh, a heartbreaking visual. Uh, we've seen, we can now see Mr. Parikar has been brought down from the hearse, that the truck that was serving as a hearse in this case, and he's being taken to the beach, uh, to the Miramar beach, where the final rites will be conducted. 
But for the BJP, like Bharat Kumar Raut was saying, this is a difficult time for them to actually hold together that government in Goa. Isn't that true? Faye, when in my opening remarks, I had talked about elections to the vacant seats, by elections to the vacant seats. I didn't talk about midterm elections, you know. And some of my other fellow panelists thought that I was talking about midterm elections. Nobody wants midterm elections. Mm. And any party that will talk about midterm elections will be losing support to the rival party, you know, because MLAs want to finish their tenure as MLAs. It's not easy to fight elections midway through. Secondly, you know, even during Mr. Manohar Parikar's lifetime when he was um, gravely ill, but he continued to do his duty, the BJP had behind the scenes working incessantly, we has been working incessantly to forge a consensus on a successor of Mr. Manohar Parikar. And it had failed. And that is why I say that the only option uh, for the BJP and also for the governor is to place the assembly in suspended animation in order to avoid horse trading or ugly scenes of any kind. That will be great disrespect to Mr. Manohar Parikar, uh, who was uh, one person whose persona prevented any such horse trading also, uh, although it was during his time that two M M MLAs of Congress were made to resign. And you can operation Kamal. Uh, but then in politics, that's fine. Uh, you see, so I think that the best course and the best tribute to Mr. Manohar Parikar in the current situation will be for the time being have a interim chief minister. There is a provision for interim chief minister. Uh, there is no necessity that there has to be a regular chief minister uh, until his cremation is done, as some other panelists were saying. It is not, that's untrue. Uh, you know, we have seen Gulzari Lal Nanda after the death of Prime Ministers, twice he was interim Prime Minister. So there is a provision for interim Chief Minister. And uh, till the time his uh, last rites are over, and thereafter the Governor can take a call. And I think the best course is to place the House under suspended animation for some time. And in the meanwhile have by-elections done to the vacant seats and see what way the people decide. There is unlikely to be, in my assessment, and I may be wrong, there is unlikely to be a consensus on any name at the current juncture. And to make a chief minister and whose uh, tenure is unstable uh, as a successor to Mr. Manohar Parikar will not reflect well on any party that catapults that man as chief minister, be it the Congress or be it the BJP. So let's respect the departed soul uh, and let's let him uh, be seen off uh, without any kind of uh, uh, washing of political dirty linen in public uh, or any kind of horse trading because he was an honest man. Uh, he is known for his honesty and he is also known for his very strong administrative skills. Uh, he used to, in sitting in Delhi, we used to sometimes wonder that in wearing a bush shirt, he was taking a guard of honor. Uh, he was there, would be there at ceremonial functions of the army uh, in a bush shirt. Uh, but then, as they say, he was the original Ahmadmi, you know. The, in fact, he, he would say often that it was Arvind Kejriwal. Why, how, why did Arvind Kejriwal get that kind of prominence uh, when there were people like him who were already uh, very simple in their lifestyle and uh, were not uh, too keen on trappings of power, I mean demonstrative trappings of power. Uh, so I think that uh, the parties should agree, the governor should take a call. It will be very difficult for the governor uh, to have uh, to invite the BJP unless there is written commitment by MGP and the Goa Forward Party and other supporters. You see MGP has three, Goa Forward has three, Independence three, you know. Uh, so and the vacancies are also three. I think this numerical three is rather inauspicious in the current juncture. So let's see that yes. how it works out. But uh, I do not think that uh, any kind of machination should be allowed. It doesn't work well. Uh, and it is an insult not just to the departed soul, but also to the federal structure of the Indian, uh, Indian system, uh, where <coughs> states uh, have their leaders and they have their powers and they are 
equal contributors as Mr. Modi initially said, but unfortunately could not carry out that promise of Team India. If Team India has to be built, then we have to have strong leaders in the provinces. But the problem is that once those strong leaders go, there is so yes, much of ferment yes. and so much of disruption and disagreement, you know. Right. Uh we, we're going to have to take a very quick break, but we understand now that from uh, Maribar Beach, the v visual that is coming in of Mr. Parikar's uh, immediate family paying their respects, his sons, uh, his two sons and uh, his grandchildren uh, standing right next to his body there, uh, you know, just sort of paying their respects before the last rites are carried out. We'll take a quick break here on Mirror now and be right back after this.